Britain's newly appointed finance minister, Jeremy Hunt, has reversed almost all the tax-cutting measures that were unveiled last month in Prime Minister Liz Truss's mini-budget. Now, he says that the move is designed to calm weeks of financial turmoil. But at a time when markets are rightly demanding commitment to sustainable public finances, it is not right to borrow to fund this tax cut. So I've decided that the basic rate of income tax will remain at 20% and it will do so indefinitely until economic circumstances allow for it to be cut. Meanwhile, Ms Truss has been meeting with Cabinet Ministers as she attempts to shore up her Premiership. The new leader has been facing calls from Conservative Party, Party MPs to step down. And for more on this, we're joined now by Laura Makin Isherwood. She's in London. Laura, a big reversal. What are the implications of Mr Hunt's decision now for Prime Minister Truss? And her political future, uh, it does seem to hang in the balance. Yeah, it really does. I mean, Liz Truss and Jeremy Hunt have been meeting over the weekend at Chequers. That is the Prime Minister's country retreat, if you like, having those talks, trying to work out what the best plan would be for the country, for the United Kingdom moving forward. Jeremy Hunt, of course, said that this reversal of all these planned tax cuts is about bringing stability to the market, bringing reassurance and trying to ensure, basically, that the UK can continue and uh, look to economic growth in the future. However, it is a full-scale reversal, effectively, of those plans that Liz Truss and her former Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng had set out. She had maintained, up until very recently, that her plans would be the one to push forward, to bring growth to the country, and uh, her sort of hallmark, I suppose, is her start of her premiership. So this is going to be very uh, damaging for her reputation here. We're expecting to hear from Jeremy Hunt in the Houses of Parliament at around half past three local time here, so about uh, two hours' time. There he's going to take questions from MPs. And the big question there will be whether or not they really want uh, some clarity on Liz Truss's future. We know that a number of MPs have spoken publicly about their wish for her to stand down as Prime Minister. Liz Truss is meeting with her Cabinet ministers, as you'd said, uh, to try to shore up support from them. But at the moment, things are looking quite shaky and it will be up to Liz Truss to convince MPs, to convince her cabinet that she can continue at the helm. Laura, we did have some recent uh, indication that there was going to be some kind of a U-turn, uh, but not to this extent, as you say. It's, it's major. Uh, did this announcement by Mr Hunt come as a surprise? Well, we heard on Friday from Liz Truss herself that she was planning to reverse uh, corporation tax cuts that had been announced in that so-called mini budget. That was a bit of a shocker there, uh, a big U-turn for her to have made publicly in a televised press conference. But these sort of wide ranging reversals have come as a bit of a surprise. It was announced early this morning that, of course, Jeremy Hunt was going to make this televised statement. And the sort of sweeping effect of that is pulling uh, the plug on a lot of those plans that Liz Truss and Kwasi Kwarteng had set out. They're deciding to keep the tax rate at which the basic income of the likes uh, of the public receive into their pockets every month. That's going to stick at 20% rather than being reduced to 19%. Uh, other taxes, of course, are always, all tax cuts are going to be reversed as well. So it is huge. And one of the biggest elements of this will be the energy support scheme that Liz Truss had also announced, saying that that was going to be one of the big helps for people as we deal with the cost of living crisis in the UK. She'd planned to put a freeze on the amount that people would pay for their utility bills for around two years. Now Jeremy Hunt's saying that he wants that to last until April, so just six months, and then he's going to review that and maybe shift it towards a plan that will incentivise uh, efficiencies of using utilities, gas and electric uh, and reducing the costs to the taxpayer. So that's a huge uh, policy that Liz Truss had announced that may look like that's going to get scrapped as well. So we'll have to wait and see if there's any more to come. But certainly a very chaotic time in government at the moment and one that Liz Truss is going to have to weather. People certainly have been looking for clarity on how they're going to meet those energy bills for the winter. Laura, thank you very much for that. Laura, make an issue with their reporting live from London.
Well, uh, Mr. Hunt's decisive step to restore confidence in the markets appears to be working. Britain's government bonds, currency and shares rallied following the announcement. The pound soaring as much as 1.4% to a session high of 1.133%. Two after the statement. Uh, it was last up just under 1% before the announcement. A UK long dated gilt yields, which move inversely to prices, held lower after the statement. Uh, the UK 30 year and the 20 year were down around 40 basis points. And traders they also pulled back on uh, slightly on expectations for a large BOE rate hike next month. They're now seeing a 68.2% chance of a 100 basis points hike at the central bank's third november meeting